there's been a significant development in the Madeleine McCann case. Let's talk to our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, who's in Pryor de Luge. What can you tell us, Martin? Well, we now know, although there isn't any official confirmation, but we do know that the results from the forensic scientists in Britain uh, have been passed to the Portuguese authorities, and it's simply a matter for Portuguese police to decide how they will uh, react uh, to these results. Uh, these are tests that began something like six weeks ago. Um, tests on broadly blood, fibres and hairs, most of which have come from inside the McCann's uh, apartment. I gather there is other material that's also been part of this investigation. Uh, we don't know what the results show. Um, there are, of course, a number of possibilities. They may indicate uh, a new suspect, which could in theory lead to an arrest. They may affect the status of Robert Murat, um, the British man who at the stage is still the only official suspect uh, in, in the case. Um, they could in some way explain what happened to Madeline uh, on the night, uh, 3rd of May, the night she disappeared from that uh, apartment. Or they could be inconclusive, but I think that's the least likely uh, of uh, what scientists have arrived at. This was always going to be a very long and detailed investigation. As I say, it's been going on for six weeks. Um, part of the problem is that, as I said, most of this material has come from the apartment, uh, which was after about six weeks since Madeline's disappearance, uh, the apartment was relet to other holidaymakers. So uh, there was always the uh, highly likely chance that whatever scientists found, whatever they were analysing, uh, may well have been contaminated by other people. Um, I think there was some dismay amongst British forensic scientists that they were presented with this, what could be potentially vital evidence, um, a long time after the Portuguese uh, had started analysing it, and I felt that uh, they felt um, that uh, in some ways this was a poison chalice. It was expected to go on for some weeks. I think the fact that uh, after six weeks they found something of significance, which is what we believe has happened, um, suggests that uh, there is going to be some uh, perhaps major, at least important, development in this case. But of course all depends on the action or reaction of the Portuguese authorities to what they've been sent from Britain. We think the test results arrived yesterday or possibly today, so it may be some time before we hear uh, officially from the Portuguese police. They're, as we've seen, very reluctant to discuss any aspect of this investigation. And Oligario Souza, the chief inspector who's the spokesman for the detectives this afternoon an hour ago, said he wasn't aware of the results arriving uh, and he certainly wasn't prepared to discuss what they might show. But both the police here and the McCanns have attached an awful lot of importance to these results. Um, so we think that at some stage police might be uh, willing to say something or at least confirm that they've had these results.